So now you can see if I erase away some of this down here, you can see what I did. Now you can use your pink pearl and stuff, but I like when I'm doing it like this, I was just trained from, you know, high school, going to art design high school to use your needed eraser to do these type of things. Mm -hmm. And you, you're supposed to use like a 4H or 6H pencil. So then this way you don't have to work that hard getting rid of the line, you see? Mm -hmm. And you see how now when I erase that away, see how we just have the lines there? Mm -hmm. And that gives me the opportunity to come in and to fill in with certain descriptive lines now, let's call that. Like, mm -hmm. I can come around in here now and show you that movement and show you a darkness that would be on the bottom mm -hmm. with some of the dots in there, you see? Yeah. Now you see the movement I'm doing now? See that? Uh-huh. So now it starts to feel like the surface of the limb. So that's what I would do. You know, outline, then come back and start showing you description, what we call detail, the surface quality, the surface movement. Mm -hmm. you know? Even in here, you can show us some of the Pope movement. You know what I mean? By showing little wavy lines in there like so. You know how the Pope is in there. Just show a couple of lines that would go right down to where. And it'll fool the eye to think, you see, that that's actually the Pope in the inside of a limit. You have to start understanding how to make up a mark that will resemble anything that you want us to know, that you want us to look at to know what it is. That's called mark invention, making up a mark that represents an item, space, place, or thing that you want us as your audience to understand and know.